I'm often talking about how those of us who live in Mexico full time as retirees enjoy the summers, the rainy season, as our favorite time of the year. It's the 4th of July. I know it's a lot of uh, hot weather at a lot of places in the United States. Seventy two degrees, and it is one o'clock in the afternoon. It's a pretty typical day. Being the fourth of July, though, I have some thoughts. Oh, maybe. Fourth of July is not a holiday in Mexico. There's some guys fishing over there. They're fishing for their dinner. Those guys over there, they're just doing their job. Those are commercial fishermen. We have a new dog next door. Did you hear that? The hills, after a few rainy evenings have turned emerald green. Well, I'm going to go sit on the couch and have a little chat. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. It is the 4th of July, and I thought I had an eyebrow hanging in front of my eye. It's a spider web I picked up out there. The 4th of July is not celebrated in Mexico. Uh, I looked for a flag to wave, and I didn't find one, but I did find this one on my phone. Happy firecracker. I got a question this morning. It was, uh, what does the word expat mean? And uh, it got me to thinking about what does that word mean, expat. It's a term that's used to define people who um, uh, live outside of their original home country. And I think it's short for expatriate. But what I was thinking about is that it's kind of a misnomer. It doesn't really, in my opinion and experience, uh, accurately define what an expat is. And it comes to mind on the 4th of July, very appropriately, that um, I am an expat. But that doesn't mean that I am less patriotic about the United States. I don't very often miss being in the United States. But on holidays like this, um, I do. You know, it's, it's, it's still right in there. My country of birth and my country of growing up and all of those firecrackers <laughs> that we had when we were kids. Um, I do miss it on days like this. And life is just going on today. Um, I mean, the, the gate guy came and gave me a new gate motor this morning. Uh, I've had it for 15 years, and it, um, it wasn't worn out, but it was starting to have an unusual problem, and unusual to me, and that was that it would open up, but then as I drove out and tried to close it, it wouldn't close. Never failed to open up. And uh, when the gate guy got here, he said, well, it's an old circuit board. Uh, they don't make them anymore for that motor. And we call it the five-minute program or five-minute problem. There's a five-minute delay 
in um, it being able to be used again. So if I would wait five minutes, then I could close the gate. Well, nobody's waiting five minutes as you're leaving the house to go close the gate. Anyway, 6,000 pesos, um, whatever that is, 300 and some dollars, and uh, it's brand new and working again. But 9 o'clock this morning, 4th of July, that's what's going on in Mexico. Uh, I thought I'd tell you today what goes, uh, what happens in Mexico, what comes in Mexico after the 4th of July. The 5th. <laughs> Never mind. So, uh, 4th of July, maybe I'll tell you a 4th of July story. Let's go back uh about 60 years, I would have been 12, 13 years old, and we used to be able to get firecrackers that were, you know, I mean, significant little pieces of explosive. And one time I got a three-inch, I mean three-foot piece of half-inch galvanized water pipe. It had threads on, and uh, I got a cap that threaded on one end and I drilled a hole in it big enough for the fuse of a firecracker and dropped that firecracker down in there several times until the fuse poked out of the hole and then I dropped a steel ball bearing down the pipe, got it lit, laid it up over my shoulder and aimed it at the shed in our backyard and I missed <laughs> and half a block away that steel ball bearing went through the wooden front door of our neighbor. Jerry was in trouble. Yeah, we used to use the firecrackers to blow up the cans and see how high they'd go. And, you know, if you're my age, you remember this, if you lived in a state that allowed firecrackers. Um, I don't miss fireworks on the 4th of July uh, when I'm in Mexico because there's lots of fireworks in Mexico all the time. It seems like Mexico has a celebration every week for something. Uh, I once had a Mexican calendar that showed um, uh, the, the uh, days of the year of each month that were attributed to a saint or a, a celebration for some historical event. And there were about three days in the whole year that weren't... Um, something signed up for, for a celebration on that day. So there are lots of celebrations, and lots of fireworks uh, are used in celebrations in Mexico. Um, we have uh, uh, no lack of fireworks, so I don't miss that, although the big ones in the United States are pretty impressive. We do have fireworks here, and I, have, uh, I had some experience with that. This is one of the things that you can buy in Mexico. And uh, it's a firecracker. And it's big. <laughs> and it's loud. And when it goes off, it reverberates in your body. So I bought those down on the coast in Milwaukee, and we had them in the car, my friend and I, and we got stopped one time coming home from Guadalajara. We just had a bunch of them in the car. And uh, there were a lot of questions. It was, uh, it was one of those times when the uh, federal police and the state police and the city police were doing patrols in concert between here and Guadalajara on the highway. And I don't know what the reason for that was, but there, you would see them and there would be three trucks, three black trucks. One of them was federal uh, police with the gold letters and then the state police and then the city truck, which wouldn't have been black, it would have been white and something else. But anyway, we passed one of these three pickup convoys one day coming home from Guadalajara and went over the hill and kept going and... In about 10 minutes, they caught up with us at a rapid speed, and two of them passed us and slowed down and stopped us until we got pulled off of the road. 
and they're just doing a regular inspection. I, they do this occasionally. And if you've been through it before or you um, <clears throat> have lived in Mexico for a while, you don't get terribly excited about this if you're not doing something bad. <laughs> it's just kind of a regular thing. So anyway, they've got us out of the car. And the first thing is um, my friend had some nunchucks that he used to keep between the bucket seats in the console. They found the nunchucks and, you know, started hassling us that these were uh, concealed weapons and that they were illegal in Mexico. And this whole thing that goes on when they are stopped by the police, whether it's in Mexico or any other country, there's always that process of intimidation to some degree. And it's designed to see how nervous you get. And apparently there is some correlation between how nervous you get and the possibility that you have something to hide. Well, anyway, they're trying to intimidate us. And we're not terribly intimidated because we bought the nunchucks in Guadalajara. And then they find these fireworks. And this is like a bag of them. And we had some uh, skyrockets with you know sticks this long and they're telling us that these are illegal fireworks you can't have these in Mexico and we're telling them well hey <laughs> this is where we bought them in Mexico and everybody's got them and every Tom Dick and Harry is always shooting these things off every place all over town we're not doing anything illegal and since we're not intimidated by that they you know relax and decide that we're probably okay, but in order to maybe save face, they say, well, you can't be driving around with these things in your car. When you get home, you have to unload them from your car. <laughs> I'm not making light of being stopped by the police in Mexico, but um, a lot of times it's a routine inspection. They're just doing their job. Anyway, so 4th of July is just another day here in Mexico. And um, I miss the 4th of July. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.